everyone I hope you're all really well this is Karen with happily planning with Karen and I'm back I'm sorry I've been um, away I've actually been working we've been in Disneyland Paris and we were there for two weeks and we're back and we're about to go again in <laughs> six days <laughs> oh crikey you know when you hadn't figured out how many days it was well I am a planner why would I know that but anyway <laughs> For those who don't know, when I disappear, it's not that there's anything wrong with me. It's purely because we work and we curate um, mystery boxes and the company's called Enchanted Mysteries and all the links are all down below. Um, but yes, we were in Disneyland Paris cu curating our Disneyland Paris boxes and our Disneyland Paris pin boxes. And we were there for 14 days. We had to extend it because we were that crazy busy. And uh, we're going back again for the Halloween pin release. So you're super excited. And at the moment, I'm doing all the shipping labels to ship the boxes. And I'm waiting for Phil to box the boxes up to give me the weight so I can do the shipping labels. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, use your time and let's record my my Hobonichi unboxing so yeah I'm super excited I've been really good I have been really good in the sense that I've ordered half I've spent half the amount I spent last year it's still way too much but I love these products and I use these products and yeah for those who watch me normally and haven't just tuned on for this for this video you'll know that I actually um ooh, you go you'll know that I actually um I'm trying not to spend <laughs> that's not going so well um but I've actually I think I found peace I think I have this um of the planner sale planner boss sale is it that's on currently and I haven't ordered anything nothing um and last night I cancelled all but one subscription I did I did I'm just keeping my DK description um, subscription if not description my DK subscription box but all the others I've cancelled now and I feel I feel calm because I've got that much stuff to haul for you and you know when it's like you just you're just a bit like peeking your head out the top of the pile so that's how I felt so so yes yeah, so, but these I need and I'm super excited now this is one of three hauls she said having just said she's going to be cutting back I got this then I went on to jet pens and did a really really small order and then I went back on to Hobonichi because I realized that there were two more planners I needed um for while we're away in Paris so I've ordered those and then that's it I'm do I don't I do I don't you know the lotteries do I don't I, I didn't get any of the tambourine covers spoiler alert and I wanted them but I didn't and I regret it now but I'm trying to be good so we'll see there might be four hauls there might be three if I if I did it and if I was so incredibly lucky but we'll see but I've got two boxes and my boxes because I ordered so much when it's two, they put it in a white bag. And I think that's because to save on shipping, they can ship them together and they're heavy boxes. And then that was on the outside. So these boxes are perfect. You know, boxes do get bashed up in, in, in uh, transit. They do, that's the way of the world. Um, but yeah, these are lovely. They're all clean and it's beautiful. I didn't keep last year's yellow ones. I'm not a hoarder of boxes, but do I? <laughs> I might, I might. So, <laughs> I had a little peek. I did a sneaky peek because I've been that busy. I've not been able to do a video, but now I can like get it out and start using it. So I'm super excited. So you ready? What has Karen ordered you say? So this is a box and uh, I'll just pause it here for a moment so you can read the quote. I'm not going to read it. Everyone reads it. And the first time I enjoyed it, and then I'm like, fast forward, fast forward. So it's there if you want to read it. And I quite like that quote this time. I think it's um, it's much more, it's got more meaning than last year's quote, to me anyway. So let's have a look what we got. See, I, I had a peek, but I put it back as it was. Oh, well, that's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Yes, yes. Right. So let me get it all out. Oh, 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 oh. Let's put this first box to the side. Um, so do I keep the box? You feel so, you see, I throw everything away. I'm not a hoard, I hoard stickers, but I don't hoard boxes. But with everyone saying like, I'm like, but well, should I, or shouldn't I, or should I, or shouldn't I? That's not gonna help me, is it? So yeah, so let's start off with the pens. Did I get three? I thought I got four. 
I've got another pen somewhere. I don't know where it is. Ah, there it is. Right. Oh, everything's in the corner there. Right, so I've got four of these pens so far. I'm going to have another two coming. And, um, yeah, I love these pens. I use these all the time. The black ones I use all the time. So, like, in my... This is one of my work planners. Oh, so this is last year's work planner. And I just love it because it locks it up. Um, and this is one of my favourite all-time colours, teal. So, so yeah. Ah, oh, so let's have a look at this one. And I'm sure you've all seen this. But it's just the traditional, you know, three, it's three, not four colours. I'd have loved a green on there as well. Because I always used to work right in green ink at school. And I like green ink. And I use different colours for different things in my books, especially while I'm in Paris. It just helps me know when I've found things. And so, yeah, so I've got those. So I'm really, really pleased with those. And truth be known, that's one of the reasons I order it from Hoban each. <laughs> yeah, we won't talk about the customs fee. I'm waiting for that to land on my doorstep. Right, so what did we get in here? I was one of the very, very lucky ones in that I got one of each of the spoons. I did. I got one of each of the spoons. Let's come in a bit closer so you can see that. Um, super lucky. But what's really strange is they're all identical. So I think people were collecting the backing cards. Um, and if you haven't seen these, let's open one up. And if you don't like the sound of the plastic, I do apologise, but I love it. <laughs> so I always leave it on. So this is your spoon. And if you can see really close up, all it is is a smiley face. And they're all identical. And it's about giving a spoon. Is it a spoonful of happiness? Is that the translation? That's, a, that's what I'm going to take it as anyway. And you've got the little ring there. And I was listening to someone last night, I think it was Anna Jolene, and she said she's going to put hers through her tabs on the side of the book. Because, I mean, how can you attach that other than putting it on here? So I might do that. I mean, if I'm walking around Paris with a spoon hanging from my book, I think Phil, my husband, will think I've gone a bit loopy loop. But then, there's nothing unusual there, is there? So yes, so I've got four of those, so... Very lucky that I got the whole set. Then some extras I ordered. I've ordered the pencil boards. I've got the A6 and the A5. It doesn't like to focus with that there. Let's try that. A6 and I've got the A5 five pencil boards. Um, and I regretted not getting last year's colour of the year. Um, and I like this because it's navy and it's got the pink on it. I just thought it was lovely. So you've got a little ruler here. It doesn't actually have any markings on it. It's just got, it doesn't have the numbers. It's just got like, so you can, so on the edge there, there's a very faint ruler effect. It doesn't have numbers, but you can use it to measure. And again here, and it's like a grid. But I use these pencil boards because I write, I write really heavily on the paper. So, and I like the way the paper goes crinkly. Um, but, with the big one, I got it because I use my Hobonichi cousin and I paint and I draw in the daily pages. So, um, and when I used one of the hot air, um, like dryers, I didn't realize at the time when I left it in, in my brown one that I did get one off bought. <laughs> so I was like, okay, gotta take it out next time. <laughs> so I've got a new one of those. So, so those were the only two pencil boards I got this time. I then got a couple of the page markers. I've got loads of these, but I love these. And again, as I'm going round, especially in Paris, when I use my planner on the go, it keeps the page for me. I've then got the two bookmarks in, in my planner as well. So it just helps keep me organised. And for anyone who doesn't know how these fit, I'll, I'll show you one on one of my covers. So I've got some two cover on covers here. And I love these because um, it protects your cover, but can I just say the most important thing for me at the moment? We're in a world where we have to make sure everything's clean and sterile. I wipe my planners over with Dettol, or that's like our version of Lysol in America. So it's an anti back cleaner. So when I've been out, obviously I can't wipe all the pages, but I wipe the cover down 
and I wipe my pen down and I wipe the loops down and then my my planner is as sanitized as I can get it for the next day so I love these covering covers and it's it's really weird I love the touch of the plastic I mean <laughs> Yeah, forget Louis Vuitton, give me a bit of plastic and I'm happy. <laughs> so anyway, I've got two of those. <laughs> Do you know, there's no hope for me. Is that there really is no hope for me. So shall we do some of my covers? Oh yeah, and i got two big um, A5 ones as well. So i got those as well. Um, they're only a, a matter of a pound or two, a couple of dollars. Um, but I like to do it because I think if you have to create a special order just for that, it just makes it so very, very expensive. So first cover I got, I got the pink, is this called Marshmallow? And I just loved it because it was pink and it's got this lovely, um, it's not a top, is it? It really is a marshmallow colour. And um, yeah, I love this. So I have this. And here, at the end, you've got your two little ends to your bookmark, which are the same marshmallow uh, colour. You've got your little information telling you what to do, what not to do, not to get it by fire, do not use solvents or other alcohol-based cleaners. Tells you what you can and can't do in there. Um, and in here, you've got your little message. But it's just a plain universal cover that I can shovel my bits of paper, my receipts, my plans in. And yeah, love that. So let's put, let's zoom out a little bit and let's put my cover on cover on. Now, I didn't get, um, would you go, which order did I get it on? Oh, let's wait to see what's in the other box, Karen, because I've forgotten what I ordered, yeah. And I like a new cover every year. And you know what? You don't need one. You could re repurpose them. But I just think, you know, for a couple of pound to have a new cover, it just like makes it lovely, doesn't it? So let's put this in here. And it's a nice... You see, I'm on about the plastic again. It's a lovely, thick, bendable plastic. <laughs> I think I've lost the plot. I think I really, truly lost it because I'm going on about plastic. But I do, I love them. <laughs> I've turned into a cheap date. I always used to be an expensive date, but not anymore. But you see, now I can wipe it down. And uh, yeah, I just love that. And then what I do is these... I put here so you put it in your corner you put it over like that so it's done to fit that pocket and then it's a page keeper so you just put your paper through and it'll keep it at that page so yeah love those throw that away so that's the first one I got which was a plain one and that one is more for my Hobonichi cousin so that's more for my everyday planning so we've got that one but then I got this one for when we went to Paris because when I saw it, it's a bit loud. And you know, when you're having business meetings and what have you, and it might not be the most subtle of planners, but I just fell in love. So it's this beautiful blue and, and blue and like sky blue and the pink ends. Yeah, it's lovely. What have we got? We've got the words again down here and it's raised. It's really nice. I don't know what it means, but it's really nice. Um, I wonder if it says happy unimportant day. I don't know. So that tells you a bit about the planner. This one's by Omiya Yogashite. I hope I've said that right. Um, so that tells you about that. And it's about a sweet shop. So it's got here in, in Tokyo in 1884. Omiya Yogashite's motto is reasonable prices for sweets that aren't cheap using only the highest quality ingredients to make universal appealing Western sweets. They're always investigating the latest delicious flavors to keep their customers happy. Some of their most popular treats are fresh fruit punch, apple pie, and their strawberry shortcake sandwich, made from the freshest fruit purchased personally every morning by the shop owner. So it always tells you a little story, and I love that about Hobonichi. So you've got your pockets, you've got this lovely stripe, and then it's France, look. You've got the Eiffel Tower there. And I just thought it was so lovely. It's about sweets, it's about treats. It looks a bit like a park, doesn't it? 
you could in some ways be in Disneyland Paris maybe the Eiffel and I just thought that's perfect for my notes for when we're shopping in Disneyland Paris so let's put this cover on cover on to protect it So do you love the sound of all the plastic as we're doing this or would you prefer people not to put the sound of the plastic on? I I really love it. It's really weird. And I think for me, packaging is important. I mean, it doesn't make the contents any more special, but I just think it gives you a nice overall impression, doesn't it? But this is, it is it's lovely thick plastic. See, I'm on about the plastic again. Are you worried about me? <laughs> So let's put that down there. So that's in there. So that's now all ready to rock and roll. Now I'm using this one a little bit differently, I think. <laughs> and I don't really know. The jury is out. The jury is out and I'll explain why in a minute. Right. So Right, before we go on to the other planners, let's have a look what's in box two because there might be some things in here I need <laughs> to help me set up. So, ooh, that's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? <laughs> so, let's put this box to the side. So, what I've actually got is I've got four of the A5 notebooks and I've got four of the little notebooks and I use their notebooks but normally I have the plain ones and I saw these and I thought that's really really pretty so the same but just different sizes so and I love this because it's it really helps me when we're in Paris it really really helps me so I've got my book So I've got all of that. So this is my dilemma. What I'm thinking of doing is putting my notebook here so that I can work on that and I put lists, I put photos, I put all sorts of things. I keep going out of focus, don't I? So I put it in here, my notebook. And for me, this is fabulous because I put all my lists, I put photos, I put everything in, in here. It's a lovely thin paper and I love that. But while we were there, I found I wanted a diary. I wanted a diary as well. So I've got my cousin. And I thought this is a great book for me to take while I'm there so I can put the first half of the year in there like so so that I have got my diary and I've also got my notebook as well so do I need that in there I'm really undecided. You know when you're undecided. Do you buy things that you're undecided about? And I love these because for anyone who's not seen the cousin, in the front you've got your months and you've got 2022, 21 and 23. You've then got your months so you can plan out your days there if you want to. You can use it as an index reference guide, whatever you want to do. So you've got those. You've then got all your monthly pages so you can plan out on those as well. Then after the monthly ones, you've got your weeks, so you can plan out your different weeks. And then you've got your day pages. And that's six months and six months. So I love this. Now, I tend to use this. Do you know what? No, that's what I'm gonna do, no. I use this for my, for my memory keeping, um, but I'm trying to simplify what I use. So. I'm going to use that for memory keeping. I'm not going to use it for that because that will make that book so heavy for me to walk around. Right, so we'll use my cousin for my memory keeping. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put my pen in. I'm going to put my page keeper in. 
I've got another page keeper here. I was just thinking then, do I need to go back and order another cousin? But I struggled this year with my memory keeping because we've been so, so busy. So there you go. So if I do that and then say I was looking at something on this page for someone, I put that in there. I can then be looking at something else for someone else at that page there. And I might be looking at something for someone there. <laughs> so that when I'm out and about with my book, I can then just go straight to the page that I'm at for the person. So these they, these really are perfect. And I've got my pen and it's Paris. And that is perfect. And it chunks up because I put lots of different things in. I've ordered... Um, it hasn't come yet. I forgot to order one of the little perpetual calendars, so that can go in the front there. And that's a better book for me to throw in my bag when I'm in Disneyland Paris and I can wipe it all and keep it clean. So I love that. I really love that. So that's that one sorted. Fine. We know what we're doing. Then this one will have the first part of my January to June Hobonichi cousin so that will be my memory keeping for next year um, and I've been on all the websites people are like do you take your covers off and reuse them or do you um, leave them on your planners well I've got the beautiful Mina Perone one from last year with the butterflies and to be honest, my memory keeping in my Hobonichi has just, well, memory keeping in, in general has just gone by the by. I think sometimes when you get busy, you need to plan so that you're productive, but I think then something also has to go, doesn't it? So when you finish at 10 o'clock at night, I know a lot of my friends are quite happy to come and plan. Personally, I like to sit and watch some rubbish on the telly um, with, with a Diet Coke and just relax. So I've got to make sure going forward I use it now. I do have the second half of this year's Hobonichi Cousin, which I think I might be using to take with me to Paris um, because I'm so far behind in my planning for this year. I'm like gone. And I know lots of people back plan, but when you back plan in a year, it's no fun, is it? Do, do you feel like that? <laughs> be me please don't let it just be me so I've got this lovely colour cover and this is this beautiful blue and pink so this is going to be a small version and this is going to be my Paris small version um, and in here you've got the little pink ends and it's lovely it's like it's not pink it's like it's coming across as pink it's it's it is a pink but it's like a peachy pink is that the best way to describe the color a peachy pink so let's go and take these all out so it's just beautiful isn't it and this turquoise is beautiful it really is so let's get my cover on cover and let's put this on here so let's put this in again And I think for me, I, I will store them in the covers I use. Um, I haven't bought expensive covers this year. Um, but we'll see. This is like my second proper full year with Hobonichi. And the notebooks, I've just fallen, I've fallen in love with the notebooks. So you've got this and then I've got this one deliberately. You know when you've got that many bits of paper on your desk? This one deliberately so I could do that. So this might just be a book um, that I take with me that I don't actually walk around the parks with in Paris. But this gives me option two. So I've got all the dates so I can make little notes if I need to. And then also I'll put one of these beautiful notepads in. And um, when I finalised my last order last night, I was like, well, do I just get a plain one? And I thought, well, we all do stick a plan in, don't we? So why would I not um, use this? <laughs> so it was, I think, one or 200 yen more, which is about a pound. So I thought, well, we've got that. So we've got that. 
nice little book and then put my pen in now i haven't had any uh of the season of hope covers and as soon as i didn't i regretted it and then you couldn't get them could you so the season of hope is a cover on cover that's got this design so i went on to etsy and i managed to get an a5 uh, an a6 one which i could put over this cover but then I also got the A5 one as well, which I got off Jet Pens. I was one of the first on the website, so I managed to get that. I didn't think about getting the tambourine cover while I was on there, though. But there's, the prices were so inflated, I wouldn't. I think you buy it at the original price or you just, like, accept failure for that year. Isn't that pretty? I really love that. The turquoise and the pink. That's a slightly different turquoise. That's more of a green rather than a sea blue turquoise but it's just really pretty isn't it so that's another paris book ready for me and then i've got one left for this order i had to get this cover i had to get this cover and out of all the covers this was the one i saw and i chose i struggled this year i didn't think the choice was very good um i wanted the tambourine which i didn't end up getting and I wanted this one, but all the others I wasn't thrilled about. And I, I think the fact that there was hardly any for the A5 wasn't, wasn't good at all. So it's got the little blue ends. And it's got, those are like the windows into the city. And then you've got another little sign down there. But look at it. This to me reminded me of something when I was 19, I think I was. And I, for anyone in the UK, I used to go down the, the glorious M6 and I used to go from uh, Kidderminster to Aldridge, where we lived. And this, the part on the M6 between uh, Bromsgrove and Droitwich, where you look to the left and you can see the city and it's a view like that. We can see all the houses and all the lights. And as I used to drive down the motorway, I always used to think, I didn't have a boyfriend I didn't have anyone there must be someone out there for me <laughs> oh it's sad isn't it and that's what I used to think every day when I traveled back from work there's got to be someone out there for me so that's a bit like me but he sat on top of the phone booth but I was in my car driving so when I saw this even though that isn't what it is but it's like houses at night with the lights on it just you know when it just triggered a memory and I was like, yeah, you all feel really sad for me, don't you? <laughs> don't. <laughs> I was fine. I found people. Well, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? But yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I yeah. <laughs> I found a boyfriend, it's okay. <laughs> and I am married now, so it's okay. We all came out of that little funk. So, so for anyone who's single and you're wondering, you know, is there anyone for me? yeah I, I've, I've got you back because that's how i felt um but yeah it's amazing how quickly things turn around so so yeah so and i put my cover on cover and i just think that's that's just just lovely that's just lovely so i use this one i showed you earlier and this is my um i keep a track of all our orders and what have you in this one that's especially what that is and i just scroll on the pages so what i've done is i bought another one i thought do i really need it i can put it in something else and i thought karen it's working don't not what works stick to what works that's what i'm doing so i got the english tech show um, because I wanted to be able to see all the dates and what have you and it's all bound down here and it's done and one of the beauties about Hobonichi is if you do that it'll just stay at that page it'll stay at whatever page you want because of how it's bound if I just do that so uh, that's one of the reasons I love Hobonichi um, and I love the paper when you write on it it gets it's so thin and crisp although I don't know if that feels quite as thin as it normally does maybe it's because I've not written on it but anyway so this book goes in like that put it in that side and i put it in this side as well and don't ever be worried about folding it you won't cause it any damage you've got to fold it to get it in she says try really hard here you go it's all got in here you go no planner was harmed in the making of this video <laughs> 
and then it'll just open up to where I want it and that's just perfect that's just perfect for me what I use it for every day and um, yeah put that in there so those are, I've got no pens good heavens I'll have to buy some more pens that's no good is it I've used them all and inside each of these orders I'm sure you've seen it on other videos but it comes with this little leaflet um, and I kept last year's because I thought I'll cut it up and stick it in my planner and yeah I never did that either <laughs> but they're cute so I'll keep them <laughs> so I've got that one I've got that one and I've got that one then I've got so that's my notebook so I've got my three planners ready so that's great but I have got another planner and that is I have bought the A5 Tetra and I use this one for she says reaching over oh, I use this one for my mother um, cover and I will use this because this is my work work cover and I love these covers and I've got the A6 one as well um, and I'll put that in there and that's my that's my work bible that's everything I need for work goes into that bible and um, so that's what I've got that for that's a replacement and um, I did get Phil my husband a um, Techo last year and he doesn't use it it's drove me insane so I haven't bothered you can go to WH Smith's and buy a planner for four pound if you want <laughs> I like this paper and I like that so so that's what I've got part one of my orders um, I've got some fantastic new items coming I'm really thrilled about um, yeah I've been naughty <laughs> but not as naughty as last year and that's one of the reasons I've, I've cancelled all my subscriptions as well not only have I got too much stuff and I think sometimes you can be swimming in stuff can't you and then you don't want to use it it's like you, you you just got more it's just like it got a bit repetitive and I've got that much to haul you wouldn't believe how much I've got to haul it's just in, a, in the cupboard there um so I decided what I want to try and do is order the stuff I need for work and for fun, use it all, and then next September the 1st, I can go and buy what I want again. And then if I need stickers going forward, I can get that. But I've got more than enough stickers. And I've got some fabulous items to use in these planners that are coming as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. A bit of rushed one, because um, I'm so, so excited. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that one. And I'll see you really soon. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell coming at the end. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers. And when we get to 2,000, I'm doing a massive giveaway. Massive. <laughs> Humongous. I've been saving it. <laughs> um, yeah. And thank you so much for watching. Be good, be kind. Please take care of yourselves. And don't forget, it's never too late to get happily planning. See you in the next video. Bye for now, guys. Bye.